What's up, fragrance family? It's Neeb and Snickers with Aromatics. If you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hopefully I can provide you guys with some valuable content. I know I can, it's just a matter of time. So hit that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost anything but a little bit of your time and I'm extremely grateful for that little bit of your time. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's video. It's gonna be another one for the Dua brand, Bad Guys. Now, I'm sure if you're following along with some of the Dua fragrances or with their website or their group on Facebook, they have a fantastic group on Facebook with a fantastic CEO. Masam Raza is an outstanding person. This guy's great, guys. Genuine, responds to all of his supporters. He shows nothing but love and respect. His group is a positive one. And all of his fragrances have been nothing but fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Doesn't mean that I enjoyed every single one of them. Obviously, let's be realistic. But speaking for quality, 100% amazing quality. I have no problem backing his products up, and I do. I've introduced so many people to this brand in real life and hopefully through uh, Facebook. I just wanna give you a little bit of a backstory of Masam Raza. They are based in LA. Fantastic people, fantastic prices. And honestly, guys, quality that highly exceeds the price, especially with those coupon codes, guys. Hats off to you, Mr. Masam Raza. Bad guys sold out really, really quick. You know your boy had to get his hands on a bottle, and so that's exactly what I did. As soon as that bad boy launched, bam, it was in cart, and let's check it out. Guys, the reason why this one sold out really fast is because of the person on this bottle here is some WWE superstar that's passed away a long time ago. And also the crazy notes, guys. A lot of people pay tribute to him. I apologize, I'm not crazy on WWF or WWE. The last time I watched WWF was when Eddie Guerrero was in there and once he passed away, that was my guy. Once he passed away, it was over, guys. Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, I'm sure all you guys remember that. They're the Hardy Brothers or whatever it was, man. After those days with the big show, it was done for me, guys. It got busy with life. The reason why this is kind of a crazy fragrance is because it has a lot of very appealing uh, notes. So if you see the notes, I'll actually put them on the screen for you guys. And the notes kind of, they use a little bit of different terminology, guys, different languages, just Spanish or another type of Latin language. And so don't get mistaken. There's fresh orange, uh, uh, guava, guayaba is how they pronounce or say it. Uh, there's mango, there's papaya, there's coconut in here, and there's that cocaine accord. Yes, you guys are seeing it right, cocaine, guys. Okay, and then you got some rum, you got the ginger, and you got you got a couple other notes, and I'm sure you guys can see here. And then when you see notes like ISO E Super, and you see that ambergris, and they're used together, guys, you know that this is going to perform. And I'm here to tell you guys that that's exactly the case. It does perform. And honestly, I'm very happy that it performs because this is one of the ones that I actually enjoy. I wore it to the gym, I wore it out, I did all that good stuff, guys. I'm not gonna bring you fragrances that I'm just blindly presenting to you guys all right right off the bat guys it opens up absolutely gorgeous you got a lot of that concoction of just like a fruit basket and it's sweet it's not just a dull fruit basket honestly guys if you smelled one million this is exactly the way that one million opens up but this has the edge okay this isn't a clone of one million but there definitely there are some there are three fragrances that I felt a similar vibe to in this fragrance and it kind of gave me like a little bit of aspects of the three. Now, right off the top, I definitely get some guava. You get the orange right off the bat. You get, I don't know about mango, but papaya is there too. It's a strange note, but I know what papaya smells like. I actually love eating papaya and you can smell that here. Um, the boozy notes are not necessarily there yet, but there's a little bit of a fruit basket vibe in the opening. So the opening is essentially like if you take a picnic basket with that dry type of uh, crumbling wood and that dry wood has a slight woodsy smell. It's nothing crazy, slightly airy and you have it full of fruits and some of them are cut open, some of them are not. That's exactly what I get here. You're outside, it's a fresh summer day. Uh, you got that slightly dry basket of woods that still smells really clean wood. It's not an old dry or an old wood by any means and you got to just full to the top of fruits. That's exactly what it smells like. The Ambergris and the ISO E Super give this one a freaking light bomb. And what I mean by a light bomb is it just like brightens this fragrance like crazy. It doesn't brighten it and take it in the direction of something like mint wood. It brightens it in the direction of here are your notes. They're, they're fruits and they're sweets and it's just amplified. Let's multiply that times three. So if you take all the aspects from let's say like one million, those fruity aspects that are kind of 
muzzled by the sweetness that's in 1 million and you amplify the fruitiness while still maintaining that sweetness, that's what this gives me vibes to. Now, throughout smelling this fragrance, I did get some vibes of Versace Eros. Yes, I said it, Versace Eros minus the mint note, that signature mint note. If you can eliminate that from Versace Eros, kind of gives you a little bit of a cool feel, the ambergris and some of that apple. Although apple is not necessarily a note in this, it just gives me that type of vibe. And there's one more fragrance that I feel like this kind of reminds me of, and that's Invictus Legend. And specifically for that basil note, there is no basil in this fragrance, there is no apple in this fragrance, but I feel like if you take certain aspects from Invictus Legend, and if you take certain aspects from Versace Eros and One Million and you blend them together, that's essentially what I kind of get little bits and pieces of each one of those fragrances. But guys, to be real here, okay? All three of those fragrances are compliment monsters, are performance beasts. Bias aside, and let's be real. There are a little bit of different aspects that this one has that all three of those don't have. Like it does take a little detour into a little bit of a boozy realm as this starts to dry down. It stops, it drops off a little bit of those fruits. It keeps that sweetness. It starts to pick up a little bit of a boozy atmosphere and it keeps that ambergris and the ISO E super. As the boozy vibe starts to amplify, so do those woods. So it's almost like you start off this fragrance with a full wooden basket of fruits that just smells fantastic, guys. And as you're walking along and it's starting to dry down a little bit, all you're left with is essentially this half empty fruit basket and that now has some residue from the fruit juices and it's mixed with some of that booze that you started drinking and maybe you dropped some tobacco flakes from your Cuban cigar. This doesn't have a cigar or smoked feeling but I'm just kind of giving you guys the vibe. I love the transitioning that this one takes. Now, mind you, even though it does take that slight detour into a little bit of a deeper type of realm fragrance, this does remain fruity. I don't necessarily think that this will be the best in the highest heat, but it can still be rocked in the summertime, wintertime, fall time. That's my personal opinion, okay? Now, I would rock this in the, in the summertime. As a fragrance, guys, I have to give it an 8 out of 10. That's a fantastic score. I'm a stickler for fragrances. It has to be something absolutely mind-blowing for it to reach a 10. So the fact that it hits an 8 is a big deal. If you haven't gotten your nose on Bad Guys, it's a great fragrance to get your nose on. If, if you love the 1 million DNA and you like sweet fragrances and fruity, but this is not a fruity feminine fragrance whatsoever. This does lean more masculine. If anything I described about this fragrance sparks your interest, then definitely get your hands on this. I hope those mental pictures kind of served its purpose. That's what I'm going to sum it up to. Snickers is ready to get the heck out of the room, so we're going to end that here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video half as much as I did making it for you guys, and as always, love ya. Rock, rock,